in the first place because i've actually had 10 different people give me 10 different explanations on the show but i would like to hear the brain surgeon talking about the subconscious mind all right <clears throat> so again there are layers in the brain what is the conscious mind okay the conscious mind does the following activities the first the conscious mind has memory second the conscious mind has intelligence the ability to you know do things third the conscious mind controls body movements right okay if i had to give a simple example if the conscious mind is a, is a is a, on the stage a play that is happening or a music concert whatever is happening at the back of the stage is the subconscious mind mm. so there is a lot happening in the background that is letting you do all these things which that your conscious mind is doing all right now in the subconscious mind what all is there so there is a huge lot of data okay now this data is of everything that has happened in the past okay so whatever has happened in childhood you know everything that has happened in particular the relationship with the parents they found that you know our relationship with our parents is one of the fundamental programming of our subconscious brain okay and uh then all the events the hurts the pains the traumas the joys and the sorrows they are all in the subconscious mind they are at the back you don't see them every day but they are there and they are influencing what is happening to your con- into your conscious mind so your conscious mind right now whatever you're thinking you know we, our conscious mind is active but at the back end there is a huge lot of data which is which is now <coughs> controlling what is happening in the front end all right now this is the psychology based explanation right this is the psychology now there's the neuro the neuroscience based explanation so now when do you see when do you get to see a subconscious uh it's like, it's difficult to see your subconscious but the time when you really get a sense of it is in dreams okay mm. because in your dreams a lot of your subconscious starts playing up now with regard to dreams there are two views there was the old freudian view which actually looks at it as just repressed emotions and you know it's a more psychological view but today there is a more neuroscience view a neuroscience perspective to what is happening in our dreams so basically in in our daytime i mean in our awake time sorry not daytime you know the brain is working there's so much happening there is there is emotions there is interaction there is changes there is there is a lot of stuff happening now uh in the night when you sleep housekeeping needs to be done because you know whatever's happened in the day uh the subconscious mind actually takes all that and stacks it stores it there are different parts of the brain you know there is there is something called the hippocampus which is, uh you know it's like a seahorse shape which stacks memory you know literally shelves the memory there's the amygdala that's concerned with raw emotions and fear and everything else uh there is uh, so there's the hypothalamus that controls the pituitary gland that is you know concerned with a lot of our emotional stuff this whole thing is called the limbic system so what is happening is in the night all that is getting sorted so okay through the day your limbic system is getting overloaded just through your experiences of the day yeah yeah okay now in the night a lot of this has to be either got rid of or it has to be stored because in the night the brain has deleted that okay mm. and um, so what happens in the night again our sleep has got two parts there is uh, I, i did a podcast with you on sleep there is the non rem part and there is the rem part so uh both have dreams but it's the rem sleep the dreams in the rem sleep you know which are which is what we remember you know which again the key part of the subconscious is actually the emotional content so if you see your dreams you'll notice they are always emotionally charged there is always some emotion tag to it you know also our dreams are more visual less sound you know you'll actually see images you'll you know it's it's things in motion and but there's always an emotion right and of course now dreams is a separate topic all by itself what it means okay can i have a go at it yeah. until this point just to yeah. be sure that i'm yeah. with you yeah ah uh, so effectively 
यू गो थ्रू एक्सपीरियंसिस थ्रू आउट योर लाइफ बट ऑल्सो एवरी सिंगल डे नाउ ऑल दैट इज क्यूमुलेटिवली स्टोर्ड इन वॉट वी थियोरेटिकली कॉल द सबकॉन्शियस माइंड द सबकॉन्शियस माइंड originally is a theory from the world of psychology yes it's basically what goes into forming your own human personality and character and it's heavily dependent on your relationship with your parents all your life's experiences etc yeah. so you hear a lot of modern day psychologists and life coaches saying hey program your subconscious mind i think what they effectively trying to do is feed in positive memory feed in positive data feed in positive content so that um in that scrambled egg of memories that you're making you put in something tasty something tasty because eventually whatever goes on in your subconscious mind will determine the actions of your conscious mind absolutely so very well said yeah. the ability to work hard or go for that big business that you wanted to open or take that risk in life or ask out that girl those are decisions of your conscious mind which are affected heavily by all your memories your parental relationship the content you're watching etc etc but in terms of the biology as of now we know that yes the limbic system heavily contributes to affecting your subconscious mind daily through its emotions yeah. through its emotions yeah. and every single day your limbic system is getting highly stimulated when you sleep well at night your limbic system processes all this and showcases it to your conscious brain as emotionally charged dreams absolutely effectively coming back to the subconscious mind i don't think we fully understood the physical nature of the subconscious mind yet no so the subconscious mind is not in a spot like see our speech area i can say there's something called the broca speech area it's in mm. the left side of the brain so you can say speech area one part right oh. uh the uh, you know our our say visual area is the occipital lobe you can say occipital lobe there all right the subconscious mind derives its data or stores its data in all of this okay so you can't isolate you can't take a spot and say this is the subconscious ah. mind i mean in other words there is no anatomical location for the subconscious mm. mind there is an anatomical location for other things like our executive decision making our intelligence is in the frontal lobe our sensations are in the parietal lobe uh below that is the thalamus which is also a sensory relay station so all sensations go through through that Uh, so basically all our sensations go through a sensory relay station called the thalamus which mm. then sends it to the brain gotcha. all except smell that's mm. why smell is a very powerful smell smell is the only sensation that bypasses the thalamus and goes straight to the brain mm. so smell is a very very powerful sensation that is completely ignored in neuroscience but it's very powerful that's why perfumes play a love and romance ah uh, yes play a big role ah okay. uh, <laughs> the practical question for you sir is how does one program the subconscious mind according to you now so the subconscious mind gets programmed by what is what has happened in the conscious mind so you can't get into the subconscious mind and program it you can see that the inputs to the subconscious mind through your conscious mind are appropriate which you just said so if you are going to have happy experiences if you're going to look at you know everything from the positive side of life hmm. all right then over a period of time those things will go into your subconscious so the subconscious gets it gets its feed from the conscious but it gets stored there for a long time without you even knowing so right now we are only aware of what's happening in your conscious mind you're not aware because the subconscious mind has got data stored from since you were a kid <clears throat> you know my response to the same question huh? is that this is the actual biology behind hey you're an average of the five people you hang out with the most absolutely <laughs> or hey your parents's personality reflects in your own nature yes. or hey you are an outcome of the content you consume yes this is completely so all these aspects of life program your subconscious mind into operating your conscious mind and taking your life to where it's meant to go So obviously if you watch a lot of motivational content if you watch a lot of content around growth that's who you'll become. And if you watch content that's simply based on entertainment perhaps it has its place in life. But if it's empty entertainment all the time it probably leads to some kind of emptiness in terms of your conscious mind's actions. Perhaps. 
No, it's very true. I'll just give you an example. So when we were in school, we had no environmental sciences. Like when we studied, I think when you were in school, you had yeah. EVS, right? Yeah. So there is a big difference between my approach to the environment and my daughter's. Okay. Mm. She is so conscious about everything environmental. And we are not conscious at all because in school we never studied it. So in our subconscious, there is no environment consciousness. Mm. All right. Mm. Whereas in your generation, it is. Yeah. It's because you were taught that at school. All right. Another, so, another surface level example of this exact thing. We had uh, Suman Agarwal, ma'am, who's one of the country's top nutritionists. She said that uh, the country that deals with the least number of obesity issues is Japan. And the corollary is that Japanese students are put through a nutrition course in their first and secondary. Exactly, yeah. All school I, I, curriculum about that, includes yeah. nutrition as a core concept. So that's all the subconscious programming. Hmm. Okay. So the answer to your question is you can't reach the subconscious directly. You have to get to it through your conscious. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is perhaps the most important parenting lesson out there as Absolutely. well. That yeah. you can literally program your kid into being a type A personality. Absolutely. <laughs> if you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer Show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.